year ever sale? Well, there's four things you need to know to be a successful sailor. You have to understand the current and the wind. You have no control over either of those. But you also have to understand the sail and the rudder. Those are the things that you can control. When we think about where we want to go in our lives, in the future, we point that dinghy face forward and we set a trajectory. But without a plan, the wind and the current will take over. We will drift out to sea. As a child, old child, as a 16 year old, I did have that dinghy, that little tiny <laughs> sailboat and I drive that out to the Atlantic Harbor and I'd launch it. Yes, I did back up the pickup truck all by myself. <laughs> and I'd head out to the open waters, surrounded, of course, by houses on each side. <laughs> but there would be times occasionally when I would mismanage my expectation of the tides or the winds would shift and that little dinghy would start to float closer and closer to the Atlantic. And there I am on a 15 foot piece of plastic <laughs> floating towards the ocean. But I had to put into practice a couple of things. One of them, of course, is my vision. I saw where I wanted to go. I planned my action. Turn this way turn this way, zigzag, back and forth, work the current. Don't go with it, go crosswise. That would be my action. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about what I'm learning along the way. Every time you turn a little bit, you grow just a little bit more. And then finally you get to your destination and you're like, yes, I can celebrate. Yay. We think about this same philosophy. We think about life and where life is taking us. We think about above center and below center and we need a strategy, much like when we're sailing in that little tiny dinghy in the Atlantic Harbor. We need to think about those things that we can't control or those things that pull us below center. And we need to think about the things that keep us above center. So our thoughts and our emotions, those are the things that tend to drag us below center, right? When we start to get in our head a little too often and we become overwhelmed with life, but our behaviors and our attitudes can pull us back above center. And that's where we want to focus our energy. With our vision, take action, but visualize where you're going to go. And when you're doing this, imagine your future self. Where are you going to be in 90 days, in one year? in three years. And what thoughts and emotions are gonna pull you below center, prohibiting you from reaching those goals? And what behaviors and attitudes can you use and rely on to make sure you stay above center so that you can reach those goals? So when you're visualizing, think about this. Plan for it. Because when you plan for it, you can put action to your vision. And when you have action, you can take daily aligned action. You can walk in your shoes right now. If you know what you want to be in three years, Pretend you're that person now. 
You want to be the president of a company? Dress like it. Who do they have lunch with? Do they sit at their desks and eat by themselves? Or do they make an appointment and try to network? And when we think about that 90 day, one year, three year mark, we want to think about those behaviors and attitudes that will keep us above center so that our thoughts and our emotions won't pull us below center. And that's when we put into place our growth strategy. How will we grow in the 90 days, in the one year, and in the three years? Do we need to go back to school? Do we need to get a certificate? Those are important things to consider. And as we're doing that, we embrace that growth mindset and we think about the 90 days, the one year and the three year and the thoughts and emotions that can prohibit us from getting there. Yes, growing is hard. Have you ever watched a tooth, toothy two-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> the growing is painful. <laughs> but it's the attitudes and behaviors that we have that keep us above center. And as we mark our way there, we need to stop and celebrate every single step along the way. And when we think about that little dinghy that's sailing in the harbor in the Atlantic, when we reach our destination, we stop, we tie our little rig to the pier, and we watch the water behind us. Taking action with our thoughts and our emotions, using our behaviors and our attitudes in order to prohibit us from going below center. That's how we make sure we have a vision with action and growth and joy, and that every single step along the way, we are able to thrive. Because we don't need the wind and the current to interrupt us. Nope. We can use our sail and the rudder to guide us. And while our dinghy might be pointed in the right direction and things happen that takes us out of our trajectory. We have the ability to pull ourselves back and to succeed. My friends, let's take a moment to celebrate all that we have achieved in this moment as we remind ourselves that we can achieve so much more which gives us a lot more to celebrate okay. in the future. <laughs>